Hey guys, uh, my name is Vikram. Uh, I'm a personal financial advisor and I also host a website uh, called wealthmatics.com. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're free and if you would like to read some of the blogs, you're most welcome to do that, uh, logging on to uh, wealthmatics.com. Uh, recently, one of my friends was contacted by an investment advisor uh, who recommended him to uh, buy an uh, investment product by Kenra HSBC. Uh, you know, fortunately, my friend, you know, gave me a buzz and asked me if this was a good product for him to invest. And, uh, you know, I just thought like, uh, uh, you know, I should run some numbers and find out if it was a um, good product for him to go ahead. Uh, luckily, you know, the, the product illustration was uh, sent by uh, the advisor himself. Uh, so that helped us, you know, actually find uh, what the returns are going to be and, uh, you know, what would be the uh, performance of this uh, product, whether it really fits his portfolio or not. Uh, I'm just going to show the uh, details, you know, uh, this is the, uh, oh, sorry for that. Uh, this is the basic details of the plan which was recommended. It was Kenra HSBC Smart Junior Insurance Plan. Uh, basically, you know, my friend wanted to invest uh, uh, for his son's education uh, for a period of 15, 18 years. So this is a 15-year policy term, uh, you know, uh, with the uh, seven-year payment and annualized premium of, you know, two lakh forty-three thousand. So uh, you know, there are different things. It also gives a um, you know, some assured of uh, 10 times your annualized premium, uh, which is about 24.3 lakhs. Uh, this is primarily a endowment policy, uh, if you can, uh, if you know what it means. Here is the, uh, I hope you can see the data, right? Uh, here is the benefit illustration that is given, and it was, um, it, and this was the age, and uh, this was the seven year premium payment, including the GST, what was the, um, the total premium that needs to be paid, what is the guaranteed payment. This is the uh, surrender. Let's assume that we are not surrendering the policy uh, in the middle of the term. And uh, this is the uh, bonus, which they have calculated to be about 4% uh, per annum and 8% uh, per annum, how much it is going to be. For 4%, it is showing up to be about 4,5,000. And uh, for 8%, uh, it is about... 12 lakhs 67,500. Uh, let me uh, show you the Excel sheet. Um, you know, I've put in the same data in here uh, so that we don't have to go back, uh, back and forth to look for the data. So this is the age uh, which is given on the document and this is just a notional date which I've added. Uh, this is required for my calculations uh, uh, returns calculations which I use uh, for the function that I use. Uh, this is the premium including GST that needs to be paid for the seven years which is the payment term and this is the death benefit uh, somewhere in between uh, if the insured uh, dies then the beneficiary would get uh, you know 24.3 lakhs of uh, death benefit. Uh, and it's the guaranteed payout term um, you know, guaranteed payout amount, which is the last five years, they are going to give a yearly payment of three lakhs. So this constitutes basically a different cash flow. Uh, we need to find out what exactly is going to be the cash flow so that we can find the returns. <clears throat> so you know, bonus accrued at four percent, it is four four lakhs five thousand. And uh, bonus accrued at eight percent, it's twelve lakh uh, fifty. Sorry, sixty-seven thousand five hundred. So what I have done is that you know, for every premium that you would be paying, um, you know, um, you will be getting the tax benefit. Uh, you will be saving some, you know, premium. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken different factors to actually accurately calculate the returns. Uh, so, you know, um, one one thing is that the tax benefit under ATC that you would receive, um, you know, for the premiums that you are paying, although it is not a, um, 
the actual cash flow it is actually the amount that you would be saving which should be a positive cash flow so this should actually increase your returns because you will be saving this money uh, so it has a positive effect and the premium saved on death benefit again uh, you know in instead of buying a term policy uh, you can if you have this one you can reduce your total um, you know insurance need by about 24.3 lakhs so you would be saving some uh, death benefit uh, sorry the premium on that so i've just calculated the premium uh, taking from uh, you know cover folks that i use sometimes uh, for a 39 years old a male uh, probably a non smoking so it's going to be uh, let's you know let's find out what's going to be the uh, uh, premium yearly premium so uh, Okay, I'm just going to pick some random numbers here, so I really don't. It, it really doesn't change much. Okay, uh, I cannot find uh, 24.3 lakhs, so I'm just going to pick up 25 lakhs, and uh, it is going to be a you know 15-year policy term that means if he's 39 it's going to be about 54 or 53 so let's take 54 so it's about 3700 rupees of premium uh, that you would be saving uh, so I've taken about 3800 already uh, that you know which will have a positive impact on your returns and this is the total cash flow. What I have done is the money that actually goes out of your pocket will be in the negative and anything that comes into your pocket will be a positive uh, cash flow. So at premium, you know, um, with the bonus of, you know, in accrued at 4%, what exactly I have done is that, you know, just taken, this is the money that is going out of your pocket and uh, if there is any bonus that is there it will be um, in the guaranteed payout it will be coming into your pocket and also the accrued bonus at four percent if there is any and this will be a positive impact for you uh, the tax benefit and also the premium saved so this uh, this comes up to be like two like twenty thousand odd so the same i have done it done for eight percent bonus and just added this one instead of uh, this column i'm taking tax bracket as 20 percent um, you can actually change it to uh, you know to dynamically calculate the returns because uh, depending on this tax bracket uh, your you know, the tax benefit rebate that you would get would change so what i've done here for the uh, tax benefit is that i've taken a, a maximum of one like fifty thousand, uh, or this amount. So you cannot get beyond, um, you know, the rebate beyond this amount of one like fifty thousand. And that twenty percent tax bracket is going to be thirty thirty thousand. So if you change the tax bracket to thirty, it's going to change to forty five. So now you yeah, just pay attention here that. Uh, you know, uh, I've taken a one lakh fifty thousand of maximum. You know, most people who are in a working class they would have uh, an employee provident fund and some other investments which are already de deductible under uh, Section 80C. So you need to adjust according to your needs to calculate the actual returns. But uh, for now, since I do not have a, um, a real number, uh, so I'm just taking the entire amount uh, as the uh, rebated amount. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, just drag this amount completely now up to this point. And also, assuming, you know, once if you're going with the term policy, then your premium is not going to change for the entire premium term. So it will remain as is um, unless the GST changes. And this is going to be your cash flow for both of them.
okay this is at a tax bracket of 20 percent so this is the actual cash flow for the next 15 years so it will be uh, two lakh you know odd the premium that you would be paying and this is the premium that you would be saving out of um, you know still you will be without any cash flow you will still be saving the amount uh, because you have the death benefit and from here you will be saving uh, um, 3,800 plus, you will also be receiving the money, which is a positive cash flow for you. So this adds up to, uh, you know, uh, I don't think I need to do it here because this is the end of the policy term, which you would be receiving. So this actually is the total bonus, accrued bonus as per the, uh, you know, benefit sheet. This is and also 12,67,000 if the bonus accrual is at 8%. So this is a simple formula that we can use. It gives values, so just select these values and the dates. I'm just using uh, these notional dates here. Okay, that comes up to be 2.63% and we can do the same thing. For bonus of eight percent, okay, that comes up to be about six point six percent if the bonus accrual is at eight percent. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a uh, you know a very lucrative product. Uh, but again, you know, this is not a judgment that it's a bad or a good product. It's just you know uh, demonstrating how to calculate the returns when you have uh, uh, you know, this kind of uh, benefit illustration that is given. Uh, you can change your tax bracket if you are at 30% tax bracket, it's going to go about 6.9. And if you are at 5%, it's going to be about 5.15%. So, you know, this is the actual calculation and the possibility of returns. Um, I would say if you keep in a, a uh, simple EPF for 15 years, uh, I mean the public provident for 15 years, uh, you would probably get a better rate, uh, rate of return. And also this, uh, the entire amount is going to be tax exempted for you. Um, so that would be a better deal than this uh, smart junior plan. Um, anyways, if you have any questions, uh, uh, please write to me at vikram at wealthmatics.com and I will probably uh, post this excel sheet on the show notes as well for you to download and uh, use it as you need well, thank you very much